talking with Dr. Stephen Langer. He is the author of Solve the Riddle of Illness. This is the fourth edition. And we're talking about the different symptoms that are associated with low thyroid. One of them is poor digestion, right, and constipation. Absolutely Could correct. Could you address that, Dr. Langer? Yeah, I, as, as we've discussed in previous segments, I mean, we're talking about a hormone that controls the metabolic activity of all the cells in your body. The thyroid hormone. The thyroid, excuse me. The thyroid puts out hormone which, which controls your metabolism. And one of, the, one of the ways that it's seen clinically is in, is in poor digestion. In other words, your digestion becomes sluggish. And frequently mm. people will come in and, and, and are actually constipated. And, and, the, and you know, it, it never ceases to amaze me, even though I've been doing this for such a long period of time, that a lot of people who are constipated don't even know they're constipated. Ah. One of the questions that I ask is, is, is how, frequently do you, how frequently do you, do, you, do you move your bowels? Do you go to the bathroom in the morning? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, every two to three days. Every and, two to three and, days? And, and I say every two to three days, and they go, isn't that normal? No. Uh, no, well, right. <laughs> well, you, you, we, we know that, but I mean, a lot of the people really, don't really don't, don't know that. They say, I've been going every two to three days since I was a, a teenager or, or, or a kid. I thought that was normal. Mm. I said, no. I mean, actually, you should, be re, you, know, you, should, you should be moving your bowels or relieving yourself every 18 to 24 hours in order, to, in order to get rid of the waste products in your body. Two to three days clinically means that you're constipated. And, uh, and, and uh, we'll put people on, on high fiber diets. The other thing that's really, really important, mm -hmm. in addition to thyroid, which I'll mention, uh, is, uh, obviously, is, uh, is drinking a lot of water. Because okay. most people are not well hydrated enough to, uh, you know, to, to have normal bowel movements. And that's absolutely essential for proper bowel function. To, 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 to be well hydrated, so you got to drink water. And a, a good way to find out whether or not you're hydrated is to get a urine analysis. The specific gravity of your urine, which, which actually tells the viscosity or the density of mm -hmm. your urine, indicates your state of hydration. If, you, if your specific gravity in your urine is high, it means that your, your urine is concentrated and you're not drinking enough water. So I, I get people to, to eat you know, high fiber foods, i.e. fresh fruits mm -hmm. and vegetables, and if they can't get it fresh, most people can today, but if they choose not to or they can't because of their lifestyle, you can get perfectly good uh, fruits and vegetables actually which are frozen, not quite as good as fresh, but, but almost as good. Of course, yeah. yeah so so, so people, people can eat a high fiber diet, they, they, drink, they drink water, but still, even if they do this, their, their, their bowel function is still sluggish. Uh, I have them do the Bonds basal temperature test, and of course, when I come in, I do a complete history and a physical, mm -hmm. and I do all the blood tests, but I don't rely on them exclusively, which I've stated in, in, uh, in past segments. Very often, put them on a low dose of thyroid, and the thyroid makes all the difference in the world within, uh, within a very short period of time. There, 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 the bowel functions for which a lot of these people who do know that they're constipated mm -hmm. and have been have been taking laxatives and doing enemas and doing whatever else they can, you know, to help themselves out become totally unnecessary and they're able their bodies are able to resume their normal physiological activity and uh, they're able to eliminate their waste products on a daily basis. So constipation is definitely a symptom of low thyroid. It's a symptom of low thyroid. It's not uh, again, and uh, I mean with a caveat that it's not. It's not. It's not always caused right. by low thyroid. But if low thyroid is there, the uh -huh. thyroid will make all the difference in the world as it will with so many other uh, organ systems in the body. Also, the thyroid, in addition to the constipation, I mean, to to you know to take it a step further, the people who are low thyroid also have sluggish absorption of the essential nutrients that they're taking in. So not only is their bowel function improving, but more, more often than not, their ability to assimilate the foods that they're taking and the supplements that they're taking go up dramatically. And they feel much more energetic, not only because of the thyroid, but because all of a sudden, the cells in their body, which is so biochemically depleted, are, are, are smiling because they're getting the nutrients they need. Well, thank you very much for that information, Dr. Langer.